You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. Hopefully you're enjoying your summer. So I thought July, I haven't even done a bin day. So let me show you this bin loaded with stuff. Right now I see Big Bird. What do you see? I see, well, a Johnson & Johnson Rhythm Rollers toy, a Pizza Mania game, there's a dinosaur foot in there and a tennis ball. Well, let's see what all this is. Let me move this uh, bin over to the side and I'll start showing you all the items in this bin. Okay, bin is off to the side. Right on top is a puzzle. This is the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang frame tray puzzle. Let's see, can we get a year on this? Can we get a year? Give us a year, 1968. Now the $5 price is not what I paid. I wanna say I paid three and I also got a mug with it the quick mug so i will show you that it's in the same bin came at the same time and then really not much more to it a couple little rips on the puzzle but i thought it was still pretty cool i don't see this puzzle very often so i grabbed it and then there's a game right on top taking up a lot of room it's called 4000 a.d an interstellar conflict game 4000 a.d it's a unique game of strategy set 2000 years in the future when men have spread to the planets of other stars hundreds of light years from the Earth, an interstellar conflict between worlds is its subject. The concept of star travel by hyperspace is the basis of its unique playing character. 4000 AD is pure strategy of movement with no chance element. Two to four players may play independently or in alliance with others. All right, let's see. It's from 1972. I wonder if there's more on the back. There is. Okay, I do remember there's four different game boards. These all connect, so it's a pretty big game setup. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to venture into the game on a video. It's one of those that might take a while to understand. So there's a lot of little pieces in here. When I bought it, I was not sure if all of the little pieces were here, but it looked pretty complete. Some things weren't even off the little piece part, uh, part section there, so I don't know. It's one of those things, you gotta take a chance sometimes. All right, here's a little guitar. I'm still amassing all my guitars. I have uh, eight more bins that I need to show you with stuff, and they all have stuff like this in it. Let me see, is this on? Two volumes, okay. Does it go on? Ooh, it does. So it's also got, it also has a guitar strap on it. You heard it. Let's play guitar. Okay, this song, buddy. Okay, so I'm actually doing nothing. I guess I'm keeping the song going. I'm not sure. Let's see. Song two. Taking turns. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, play guitar. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Okay. Pop goes the weasel. So I've got some classic ones on there. I'm not sure what these other ones do. I've never heard the rainbow song. Drums, drums, drums. Ooh, there's a little drum right here. Okay, so we went around all those. Let's click the little drummer here. Ooh, drum fill. Ooh, yeah. Drum fill. Okay, what's this? Ooh. Crazy sounds. Clap. Ooh, cool. Drum bell. 
that kind of makes it real goofy. Alright, that is guitar number one. Let me turn that off so it just doesn't auto turn on. Pretty neat. And then there is a cars. Let's see. There's no batteries in it, so it's missing the battery compartment, which is pretty pretty common for toys like this. Uh, so this spins. All right, I'll have to get batteries in this one. This will be a hold till the end. All right, and then I have a cereal bowl. Now, I've seen these bowls before. I actually have some of them. This uh, looked like it was cracked, but it's not. It's just someone's hair. Okay. All this stuff will get clean and washed and move around my collection. This is from Applause. I want to say these are from the 90s. 1996. Now I have the matching mug. That's why I bought it. It's not often you see the drink cup and the cereal bowl all in one. Nice addition to my collection. When I was taste testing cereals, I'd always bring out fun mugs and stuff like that. Now here's a mug. This is the quick mug. This one is older. I don't think it's got a year on it. It's from the Nestle Company Inc. New Year. I'm guessing this one is 70s, maybe a little earlier. And then a little, it looks to be like one of those little play balls. I've got more of those in here, but not the same quality like a cheaper one. But that's still original in the box. Now here is one of the, looks like a Jurassic World gyrosphere. Is that what they were called? They should actually, should come apart. It does. And you put your characters in there and they would spin around. And I don't have anything else to it, but I'll just have to leave it at that. Okay, interruption there. I figured I would just gather all these up, and then I had a little break I had to do. Okay, so this one's got little balls in it. There's little touch sensory areas on these kinds of toys. Even this one, the little bubbles on there. It's got a turtle with a golden shell. And then this one's got a spinning horse in there. And then this one quite dirty look at that needs to be clean i would never give these to a child this way and then this one let's listen see it's got such a neat little sound to it it's a little ducky in there and it's got a little confetti this one's got blocks inside of a block this one has a sun it's a unique shape and it just spins around it's got more of those little okay listen Wouldn't it be cool? I've got probably, I don't know, 50 of those now or more. Okay, I've got a tennis ball. Hmm. I don't know. Let me make some room here. Let me show you this Thomas item. It's a pullback Thomas toy. It says, what does it say? 2009 Mattel. I wonder if it made bubbles. It might have. Still works. All right, let me move some stuff out of here. I will come right back and continue on with this bin. All right, I'm playing my game. This is from 2017, so it's not that old. So now I'm using my control wheel. I'm playing this game down here on the bottom left. Watch. So it's changing the picture up there. That is the correct one. So happy. You did it. Try another one. Match the parts to finish the picture. Okay, Use the control so wheel to choose. If you can see right the up there, it needs to match that picture. So it looks like it needs a new top. Ooh, that's it. And then we press the red button to confirm. This one's pretty well, cool. Done. All right, let's go to race. I want to race see if you could actually race. Rusty's Racing Center Race. something to boost his power. Mm. Change the accessories for the race. Then press the red button to confirm. Okay. I'm not changing anything. Wheels. Ka-chow! You're not gonna wanna miss a lap. Okay, whatever okay. happened there, I don't know. Here we go. Focus. Speed. Hopefully I get the control. I 
do. Breaks. Ooh, I'm skidding out. Okay, that is cool. Now it almost looks like this comes off. I don't know what this does. It only spins so far. Now let's switch cars here. Midnight Run. Okay. So maybe they're cars and different games. Florida 500 race. Okay. Thunder Hollow Crazy 8 race. Fireball Beach race. Okay, cool. And then there's also a box with a three, a question mark, and a star. So it must be a game in there. What's going on with this? Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something there. Ooh, I matched it. Okay. All right, this one's pretty neat. Little storage compartment there. I'm not sure what it's for, actually. This the whole overall design is pretty cool. All right, let me, uh, I tell you what, I wasn't planning on this, but let me stop again here, because I want to make room for this. Well, let me just move this out of the way. Let me turn this off. Okay, so the on and off is right here. And there's two volume Goodbye. settings there. See? Goodbye. All right. So this Johnson & Johnson. And this belonged to Phil. Uh, Child Development Toys Rhythm Rollers includes its own play and learning guide for ages 9 to 36 months. Now, I actually have another one of these. Not in the box. So when I saw one in the box, I'm like, well, I better get it. So that completes this set. It was originally from, let's see, Child World Children's Palace. I've never heard of that store. Has anybody heard of that store? Okay, so those stored in the back. And then you take one, and then you put it on, and then it rolls. I think you can put all three. Was there a booklet in there? Let's see if the booklet was, yes it is. So that's a pretty rare find to find the actual toy and the booklet in one. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Introducing Rhythm Rollers, first play. Okay, so you could play with these on their own. See, they show them singing. Okay, and then learning to stack in the cargo area, which I kind of had when it came out of the package. Oh, see, this has got a different sound in it. And this one, even uh, kind of like the other one, but it's got the alphabet on it, some funny characters in a band. This one has more funny characters and numbers. And then this one just has funny characters and different foods and other items. Okay. Tag along, page 10. World play, and then fantasy play, and then wrap up on page 16. Oh, so they stack. So you can learn to stack. Each car cargo sonar makes a different sound when shaken or rolled. Okay, let's try each one and get that those three different sounds. Okay, number one. Alright, we'll put that off the side so I don't mix them up. Number two. Ooh, it is different. Look at that. That one's a little ear piercing in a way. This one? I think I like that one the best. Okay. Truck shape inspires older toddler and fantasy play. So that's your truck. And you can play truck with your toy. So this goes through all the different playing techniques. More musical instruments that you can play with. Can you see the whole thing there? Oh, these are songs for toddlers, for older toddlers. Point to each letter and turn as you sing the ditty that goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Stacking cargo. There they show all three being rolled, but one further up. Okay, so that's as far as it goes, I think. I like that. That is really cool. All right, there you are. Just running along, enjoying your little toy. How parents can help. Fantasy fun. Wrap up. Ooh, wait a minute, look. 
we turned the truck part upside down and gave the kids a deck of playing cards. They like to insert them in the spaces between the rollers. So other fun ways to play. Let's see what happens when you turn it upside down. So it stands up almost perfect there. Look at that. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, so you're experiencing different levels of play with this toy. Pretty cool. I enjoy older toys like this. And we did want to make a video of it one day, and I think this kind of wraps it up. But I think it deserves its own full video. What do you think? All right, let me, uh, now I'm definitely going to come right back. I'm going to move this out of the way and come right back. All right, these three were in the box. Two had bad batteries, and the batteries were in bad shape. But watch this one. This guy's working good. That is cool. Go back that way, buddy. This one is working too. These are pretty neat. A bad a battery compartment. Let's see if I can get him to work. Okay, he's moving. Does he have a button like the other one? Okay, it does not look like this one is rolling on its own. I have to research these a little. I don't know much about them, but they look really cool. There's some kind of sensor on the back here, so I don't know if they need to interact somehow. Which is a good starting point for any toy. This one's actually moving. His eyes aren't lighting up though. And this one lights up, but it's not moving. Well, his head moves anyway. Look at those lean eyes. Let me get them together. They're going to battle it. They're hugging, actually. All right, let me get these ones out of here. These are really neat. I've got to study the bottoms on these and see if I can... Oh, no, wait a minute. I flicked the switch in a different position on him and he moved. He's moving now. Here we go, let's see. Oh yeah, the handle is on. It is a bicycle. This is if it's a burst or not, it's got a light. It, it definitely looks like it bursts apart, but I have that in the package of stuff. And then there's the oh, 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 off the table. Hey, the red guy wins. Hey, you go back here, you're, you're kind of entertaining here. I have a little travel scramble. Look at that, it's a mini scramble board. And inside, it appears to have little scrabble pieces. Wow, they're tiny. Little 
let's take a look at our tiny scrabble board. Oh my guys. Fight. Oh yeah, they're magnetized too. Okay. So it's a mini scra travel scrabble scrabble. Alright, I have three more items. They're still fighting it out back there. Be nice. I have to say, that's a pretty good find. Okay. Alright, everybody calm down now. Calm down, calm down. There's the switch. I think that turns them off, but you can press and activate. And then that's continuous movement. I think that's what it is. Oh, it's quieter down here. Whew, let me get these guys on the ground here. I'm running out of room. Okay, so we saw all those. I have another game here. Okay, this one is called Pizza Mania. I thought this would be fun to play with Butch, because he is a pizza fan. A fast and fun early math game, ages four plus. Add two pepperoni, so it looks like you're building pizzas based on what he says. Add one pepperoni and take away two olives. And easy to follow audio instructions. So that looks like a fun game. What do you think about that? And then I have another game here. And I don't know what this is. It's kind of just like a little green kitty. This is Uno. This is going to go in my Uno. Oh, it goes with this, I think. Yeah, it looks like it went with this. I have about two or three of these Uno games. I've never played them. Don't have instructions. Don't know what they do. So I'm kind of drawing a blank here on this one. If anybody's played this and you have the instructions, send me a copy, please. And the last thing is... Another little guitar. It's an Elmo guitar. I think I've shown this one. Okay, nothing there. Let's see. Let's see how bad the batteries are. Okay, nothing exploded. That's a good sign. Let me just grab some batteries from behind here. Yeah, I usually don't mix up my batteries, but I just grabbed the first three. Let's rock! Hmm. Let's okay. dance around! All right. Okay, so it looks like there's a few settings. What do you say? Okay, that seems like a popular song. Will you sing with Elmo? Yeah, I will. Sing D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Okay. Okay. Okay, Elmo. Thing up here presses. I was thinking maybe these would press, but they don't. Oh, nice! Like, oh yes, I guess it's just the alphabet song. This is him just colors. Okay, that one's pretty cool. I like that guitar. Boy, I'd like to get them all out, but I have some more to show you. I have. Well, let me do this. Let me bring everything back in here. I want to just show it all one more time. All right. Now, what do you think about that bin? That is definitely an oddity, but now I can kind of disperse it out and try to 
put them in their correct location in the inventory. And I do have maybe, I think I said eight. Did I say eight more bins? Eight more bins. So I'm going to try to up the ante here and get through those as quick as possible so I can get all the guitars together, all of these together because I have more in every bin. I have other Uno stuff. I have other games and lots of electronic toys. So you know what? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. What do you want to see more of? More bin days? More stuff like this? You will see some of these games, some of the stuff you will never see again on video or may show up. I don't know. But otherwise, what did you enjoy the most in this collection? Did you like the rhythm rollers? I got vintage in here. I got some newer stuff. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.